Am I seeing things? Am I overreacting maybe? Well, some of you will probably think that I am, but I don't care. I'm done shooting in 24 frames per second. For now. And I love 24 FPS. I even dream in 24 FPS. Or 25, you know, depends on where I am in the world, when I'm dreaming. But anyway, I'll tell you why. Okay, so here's the thing, and feel free to judge me in the comments, don't hold back because maybe I am overreacting. Just tell me. So last week I was shooting a sequence for a sponsored video and as usual I was shooting in 24 frames per second. I started editing the footage and it looked great on my editing monitor. But then I uploaded that sequence to YouTube and mm, I saw all these stutters and jitters and it's driving me crazy, especially when there were fast pants or fast movements in the shots. It's so ugly. Here's a short clip and be honest, do you see it too or is it just because I'm way too focused on those jitters and stutters or maybe it's because I know what it looks like on my editing monitor and I can see the difference more clearly? I don't know. Now, the reason why you get those jitters and stutters is because YouTube and most standard 60Hz screens don't show 24fps content in true 24fps. There's something called 3 to 2 pull down and frames have to be repeated and when you upload 24 FPS to YouTube it gets converted into 30, I think. It's all very technical and my technical English is not good enough to explain it properly so I'll put some links in the description. Gerald does it beautifully. The thing is, 24 already doesn't look very smooth when doing fast pants but when you upload it to YouTube it gets even worse because of that conversion 24 to 30 and the whole 60 hertz screen thing. It causes even more jitters and stutters but uploading 30 fps supposedly looks a lot smoother and I kinda knew that already but except for a few times I've never really shot many videos in 30 fps because I'm so into 24, I'm, I'm brainwashed. And for videos like this, talking head videos, there's also no problem. But if I'm shooting on the go, you know, following someone, I'm moving freely, fast, slow, I don't want to think, oh, maybe here I should do a slower pan, can you do that again? Because otherwise it would look stuttery on YouTube. No, I don't want to shoot that way. But it really bothers me that sometimes it looks so stuttery because I put a lot of effort, a lot of work into my videos and I want it to look good, I want it to look nice and smooth. So that's why I've decided starting next week I will shoot all my YouTube videos, so videos that I shoot specifically for YouTube in 30 frames per second for let's say a month. I'm gonna give it a try and then after that month I will evaluate and see what I like, what I don't like and if I will keep shooting in 30 FPS. Because maybe I don't like it after all or maybe I will shoot some videos in 24 and some in 30. I don't know, it's an experiment. And some of you might say, but what about the cinematicness? Isn't 24 the most cinematic frame rate? Well, I mean, in a way, but there's a lot more to it, you know? It's not just the frame rate that makes a video cinematic. There's also light, story, motion blur. So what I'll do is I'll shoot everything in 30 FPS and I'll try 150th of a second and 160th. And because I'm in Europe, maybe it's even better to stick with 150th because then I won't get the flickering lights. I don't know, we'll see. Bottom line is, I just wanna see if Shooting in 30 frames per second will get rid of most of those jitters and stutters that I really, really hate. And I don't want to go into After Effects and try to fix them. I certainly don't want to start shooting in 60 FPS because that's way too much for me. But anyway, tell me what you think in the next few weeks. Do you see a difference? Do you like it better? Maybe you don't see any difference at all. What frame rate do you prefer? You know, I really think that we should start thinking more about what or who we're shooting for and adjust the settings accordingly. And not like, oh, but 24 is the most cinematic frame rate, so that's what you'll get. Too bad. No, that's not how it works, right? If you're in the US and you're shooting for TV, they'll probably ask for 30 frames per second. Here in Europe, in Belgium, if you shoot for TV, they'll ask for 25 or 50. If a client asks for 60, you should give them 60 and not, oh 24 is the most, 
You know what I mean? And if after my experiment it turns out that I like 30 FPS better for YouTube, I will keep shooting in 30 FPS for all my YouTube videos. Or maybe some in 24, some in 30. I don't know. Because again, I haven't really shot many videos in 30 FPS, so I want to try it so that next time someone asks me, I can give them better advice. Boom! That's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week in 30 frames per second. Hands up, here comes Robert Duck. Say did you